Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and you're about to see one of our behind the scene vlogs. So yesterday I wound up going to uh, uh, Northeast Texas, picked up a bunch of alfalfa and I got the crew out here today. We're fixing to put it in the barn. The reason why they're loading it on this trailer off the other trailer is because the trailer I got it on so big we can't get it in the entrance. So we've got to put it on a baby trailer. Tell everybody hi. Hi. Hello. Say hi. Say hi, Austin. I said hi. There you go. All right, trying to get all this done before it gets hot. We're gonna have about three loads of this. Hungry critters. All right, so we got a bunch of work done today, and uh, uh, right now I'm going to introduce you to everybody. We kind of got a little party going on here. It's uh, just a, a bunch of people that work with us. There's Ben. Say hi, Ben. How's it okay. going? Okay. Michelangelo is right there. And there's his girlfriend right there. And then who else we got here? Andrew and his wife, right there. And then let's see who we got over here. Oh, there's Johnny, of course. There, there's Johnny. And then, okay, stay with me. Okay, I couldn't do what I do without all these folks here. There's Luke. There's Austin, right? Don't run, Austin. Okay, I'll tell your mom on you. Okay, and then who, okay. We got Christy and Megan. Where is she? And Cheyenne, there you go. Anyway, this is uh, this is our crew, and we're gonna have we're doing some burgers tonight, some jalapeno poppers, and we're just gonna have a good time and go look at some deer. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? I said there's burgers, jalapeno poppers, beans, and then cheese and vegetables if you're into that type of thing. <laughs> Close the door. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. No, after you. Look, look who's first in line. No. <laughs> Do it. All right, so uh, this uh, this day hadn't started off real good. We wound up, we got to the airport. There was a long line, and uh, we missed our flight. So we're on standby for the next flight, and uh, we were supposed to be landing in Rapid City at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, I guarantee that's not gonna happen. Hopefully we'll get there today. We're fixing to find out. Well, we wound up, we were on standby and we missed that flight. So we we're on standby for the next one. The guy says, well, we'll see if we can get you on that one. And then he said, they're all right there. I don't know what right there means. So we'll see. All right, so we, we finally made it. We're in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, and we've got a, about a 200 mile drive due north. Uh, right now we got up to Tyler Tiller. There's Tyler, say hi, Tyler. Tyler is with Timber Creek Outdoors. And there's Johnny right there. And we're waiting for the rain to stop so we can go get the uh, rental vehicle. And we gotta find Garrett, right? It, Garrett is gonna be, Garrett's the guy that knows what he's doing on this trip. So we gotta go find him for sure. What you got there, Garrett? Oh, got me a fun little toy. Timber Creek Rise Armament uh, AR-15 with an 18 inch barrel. Super nice uh, Timber Creek furniture on it. Can, it's nice sight mark scope. Let's go shoot that coyote. All right. I got eight rounds, so hopefully I can make it happen. Tell me you guys see him. I see him, he's at the other side of the trees. Right Those the trees over there? Right oh, is that him right there? Yeah. Tell me where you want to stop here. Go ahead and start slowing down. Where's he at, Tyler? I see the dogs. He's right out there. He's sitting right on the rise. Oh, I see oh, him. Shit. Wait, I can get him up. Too. He's running. 
Where's he at? There he is. Going hot. Well, he is really moving. Let him stop. He won't stop. He's had he's had plenty shooting at him before. Lost him on the bush. There he is, to the right. Hi. All right, so we didn't get that coyote. The next kind of critter we have is around us, and uh, this is the epitome of Black Lives Matter. That's right, Black Lives Matter. All right, who crapped on the road? You shoot one, I'll shoot the other. Are you on him? I'm going to shoot him. Okay, wait, wait. Kill him. Boom! Oh, baby. Mine ran away. There he got. It's time for lunch, and Scott's got lunch set up over here, and uh, we can't get the prey dogs to stop leaving us, well, stop bothering us, they won't leave us alone. But anyway, we're continuing killing them. Warning, I'm gonna show you what prairie dogs look like when they're dead. Yep, that one's dead. I'm gonna introduce you to a buddy of mine right here. There's Scott Botmeyer, Dakota Prairie Outdoors. I've known Scott for a little better than 10 years, and together we have killed thousands, haven't we? Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. I mean, we, and, and what? What? Somebody summoning me? Yeah, there's one with the oh. right here. We're going to bust them. We're well, okay. Well, let me get This is the way it's done here. See, we've got a mobile rig right here, okay? And uh, these are high fence prairie dogs, just for your information. I'll have more on that with you in a second, but right now he's fixing to send one and uh Oh baby! That was nice. Okay. Blew the top off. No. Scott? Yeah. If you would tell him about these high fence prairie dogs. Okay, so you know we have a four wire fence around the entire perimeter here. And as you can see, you can flip your camera, they don't go across that fence right there. Prairie dog town? Yeah, we gotta use that tomorrow. Regular pasture. That's right. Yeah. High fence prairie High dogs. High fence prairie dog hunting. They can't get over it. I love it. Sometimes under it though. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Got a problem with that? Let me hear from you. So Garrett, how many you think you killed today? Oh, I don't know. A hundred? <laughs> a bunch. A bunch. Burned through a bunch of ammo and there aren't very many misses in there. <laughs> Ready? Count it down. Three on fire this time. Three, two, one, fire. Nice. So you may be wondering uh, what happens to these prairie dogs. Uh, they are consumed, every one of them. Uh, what happens at, at nighttime, the coyotes will come out here and they will feast on the prairie dogs. And uh, they like it a lot. Yeah, it is amazing. Uh, now, there are some people that don't like this, and I guess, you know, that's okay because there's a lot of things I don't like, but I'll tell you what, for the guys that like this kind of thing, this is pretty cool right here. So, Garrett, you've never done this before. How are you liking this? I'm having fun. I'm really enjoying it. And Tyler, what do you think about it? I don't, I don't think there's anything you can do with more trigger time. I mean, I don't even shoot this much when I go to the range. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Now, the cool deal is you don't even have to look to know the one's gotten hit because you hear pop. <laughs> Seriously, they, they pop. There's lots of pop going on. So there's a lot of cactus around here, and I'm going to show you something. Uh, we wound up, uh, Tyler has been uh, trying to crawl up to a prairie dog to get a real close shot. I'm going to show you what Tyler's doing right now. Stick with me. I might get in trouble for this, but this is a warning, your last warning. Hey, Tyler, 
What are you doing? I found out what a cactus is. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been over here shooting video and uh, I looked over there and I thought, what is Tyler doing? He's pulling thorns out. It, what sucks is they, they go in about a quarter inch and leave about an eighth inch broken off on the outside so you can't pull it. And it's like a fish hook. Pull this thing in it. It's not like a sliver. Only that deep. <laughs> Still on, on the taxi is going to be happy with this one. Did it turn out all right? Oh yeah, that's a nice one there. A nice fat one too. You want to know what it's like hunting with Keith Warren? So we got to wrap this up, Tyler. Tell everybody about your first prairie dog shoot. What'd you think of it? Man, it was tough. It was long hours. It was hot. Lots of mag loading. But the best part was all the killing. Okay. <laughs> Garrett, I want to hear about it. Tell everybody. It was fun. It was uh, definitely a target-rich environment. Had a lot of fun. Got to do a lot of shooting. Give my uh, trigger finger a little workout and uh, give my mag loading thumb a workout. So, yeah, good time. All right. And here's Johnny still working. Tell everybody what you thought of your first pre-dog oh, shoot. I loved it. I think I might have enjoyed it more than them. Watching them in the screen of the camera was pretty cool. So, nope. Scott. It's so not over until we're out of the gate. Okay. You, you tell everybody how you thought about it. What you, what you think about it? You know how it is, Keith. I mean, every time you guys come up here, it's a blast. You know? Just like Why that. don't you stop? Just like that. I thought we were done. Well, you said we are done. <laughs> but Scott didn't. I thought he was in charge. <laughs> it ain't done until we leave the gate. The more you can shoot, the better it is. Okay, tell them when we started what you said. What's, what, they're free, right? For every one you hit, it's free. For every one that you miss, you owe me five bucks. I owe you about 15 bucks. I think he owes 15, he owes me 10, and I think, Keith, you're up to about 7,000 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my rifle stays like this, right now. This gun that you like so much is yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you bringing me up. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Timber Creek gear all over. Thank you. You're I love this thing, man. Shot good for you. Yeah, it shot excellent for you. Good. Bull only. It shot great. Fantastic. Thank you. you yeah, I know it's broke in. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's broke in. I got a couple mags for you, a couple 20 rounders in the other room. Okay, good. I'm uh, going to put this in the gun case and I look forward to, to popping a bunch of stuff with it. Look at that. Look at that logo. Rise Armament. That's pretty cool, huh? Pretty nice. We're on our way back to the airport after a, a long trip. And there's Garrett, and there's Tyler back there. And let me see. And look. <laughs> look. And he's been that way for the last two hours. So, of course, we'll never put this online, will we? <laughs> Here. Tell everybody what that is. Oh, it's the Wyoming Fish and Game Department. I guess we're gonna figure out if we drew or not. Last year I did not draw initially and it was the first time I put in for a tag. We went to the leftovers essentially and I got one. And then I got a really nice pronghorn. So you're opening up two of them there. One is yours and one is mine. Let's so. see who's lucky. Mine. What is it for? Um, It'd be on the one of your right hand, the small one. For an antelope. Antelope. That one. Okay, good. Heck yeah. Okay. And then you got an antelope too. All right, giddy up. I wonder. I guess we didn't draw for deer. I guess not. That's all right. What do you think of that? That's awesome. Makes it a lot easier than last year.